one of the greatest teams in this company's history, Texas of my brother Warren J. They are fly yet. Well, definitely one of the greatest tag teams, one of the most decorated. Everything that you can say positively about Fly Dev, they've earned it through and through in their tenure here at the Reality of Wrestling. trying to march their way back to the tag team titles, but have run into a little bit of a roadblock. They're looking to settle that here this evening. That's JP in the solid black trunks, Joey in the black and gray polka dots. Very much reminiscent of the late great Dusty Rhodes there. But I'm excited to see how this matchup goes. Fly brother Warren J and JP gonna start this one off. Ringing of the bell, calling elbow tie up here in the center of the ring. Both men jostling for position. Look at that. Wow. A lot of strength oh. there in the early going, but a knee to the gut and a forearm to the middle of the spine. JP has the advantage here in the early going. We've definitely seen, you know, JP in some brutal matchups in singles competition. And so Warren's got to, oh, be careful, because JP will do anything to get that win. Anything within the confines of the rules, of course, Brittany, because that's the one thing that JP Harlow does really well. He knows how to stretch out the rules as far as they will go without a disqualification. And that is gross. Uh, that, oh. I was about to say, that's pretty disgusting. There you go. Oh. Light him up, Warren, after that. Yes. Fly brother Warren J with a couple of chops to JP. Oh, swing and a miss there. And another one. There you go. And this crowd loves getting my own fly Def Kirby. I don't think there's been a more popular team in row history. They have been one of the longest tenured teams. Oh! They have been one of the longest tenured teams here in the reality of wrestling. And quite frankly, every single time they come out, this crowd just comes unglued. And that has been happening for almost over four years now. 
And that's the thing, the Row Nation does not waver in their support of Fly Death, regardless of titles or no titles. And you know that's got to eat at our current champions. Oh well, yeah, the Heat probably watching this match very closely. Cover here by Zach Zillow, one, two, and JP gets a kick out trying to get a tag to Joey, but Zach Zillow not allowing it to happen. Fly Death doing an incredible job right now of making sure that J.P. Harlow is far away from his corner. And they're going to go ahead and keep him there because when they can focus on just one guy, all the other things that the other man can do is just watch. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Shot to Joey. And there goes J.P. Zagzilla has both men out. Wait a minute, what is he thinking? Oh, oh my gosh, right on J.P. Harlow. Zagzilla standing tall. And Fly Death is in the proverbial driver's seat of this contest, and then they get JP right back in there. You know you can't win a match on the outside of the ring. No one knows that better than Fly Death. Oh. It's like Joey had a on held on to one of the boots of Zach Zilla, allowed JP Harlow to get the advantage. You know, we always say that Fly Def is so in sync, they're so in unison, but honestly, Joey and JP have shown that they're a proper tag team. Well, they are, and they are putting the boots right now to Zach Zilla. Trying to get any advantage that they can. Remember this match, the last time these two faced off, ended in disqualification after a, a pretty much a brawl broke out. Cover here, one, two, and a kick out at two. And that's why we're having this rematch now where Fly Death has been in control thus far. But now the opening happened earlier when Joey held on to the boot. And this is where they're going to excel here using every single inch. They're going to take a mile. Cover. One, two. Solid count by our official. <laughs> Ringing that cowbell. Apparently he needed more cowbell than that. Right on the arm of Zach Zilla. I mean, it looks like they're cutting the ring in half, and I don't know if Fly Def uh, was, was ready for this onslaught. That was exactly what Fly Def was doing earlier to JP, but now Joey Hyder is doing a great job of keeping Zach away from Fly Brother Warren J. You know, cutting the ring in half, this is the smart strategy from a tag team. Not allowing the fresh man to get the tag, they are really going to town on that left arm of Zach Zilla. You know, Zach's such a powerful guy, Brittany. If he, can't, if he can't use his upper body strength, it eliminates a lot of his arsenal. It really does. And oh, what is Joey? Oh, no. Oh, double axe handle off the top. You can see the pain, but he's getting closer to Warren. But again, right back to that arm. That left arm is just feeling the effects of this contest. And Joey right there is really making it the object of his desire. Frequent tags from JP and Joey have kept both men fresh. And there it is again, Kirby. Frequent tags here by this team. As now JP Harlow is the legal man, keeping Zach Mason away. And look at this, another tag. Perfect tag team strategy here from Harlow and Hyder. You know, the human body can only take so much. Warren having to watch on just in horror. Oh. Oh, oh. man, look at that. Oh. Once again. If you could ban disgusting tactics, we would. However, nothing that he's doing is illegal, but right now they're getting an unfair advantage on Zagzilla. Warren J is, he is living. Like I said before, they will try anything in order to win. One, two, and a kick out. The frustration is starting to build in Warren. He desperately wants to go in for a tag. 
But Zach Mason is just being neutralized at every corner here by J.P. Harlow and Joey Hyder. Crowd trying to get behind Zach Zilla. Zach Zilla again, just not able to find his way back into this. But wait, reverses it, goes for the tag. Oh, no, by JP's, the tights. JP's got him at his tights. Not allowing oh. it. And there comes Joey. I mean, it is, it is right now. Cover. One, two. Tag team perfection, might I say, from JP and Joey. I did not expect for them to bring this kind of strategy to the table against Fly Death. You know, it's one of those things that they've had, oh, they've had time to watch Fly Death. I mean, Fly Death is no stranger to reality of wrestling. They have a lot of tape to study, and they have definitely, found, oh, goodness, choking Zilla in the corner. Now JP's got him. They're really making this referee go back and forth over and over again, using every single distraction to their advantage. And Zach Mason is in a bad, bad way right now. And once again. You know, if you're Warren J right now, at what point do you just say screw it and go into the ring to try and break this up to get an advantage? I mean, it's a thought, obviously, but Warren knows in order for an official tag to come in, he's got to have a hand on that tag rope. He can't just go in there and try to bust it all up. Cover. One. Two, but he'll break the tag. I mean, he'll break the cover. Obviously, saving the win for his team right there. You can definitely see that Zach is fading and is in excruciating pain there. His left shoulder just being worked, but he's so, so close yet so far. Oh. Ooh. Fight it, Zach. Wow, there it is. Can he get there? Rolls through. He got it. Tag. Here comes Warren J. Drop kick. Joey gets a blind tag, but Joey comes in. Oh, misses. And boom. Joey's own momentum taking him off his feet there for a moment. There's a big back body drop. Oh, and out and over and around and into the Barricades. Every way you could go for JP. <laughs> Blocking it there. Warren. Oh! oh. Went low. Oh! Caught in heaven. Fly brother Warren J is feeling it. No, I think Joey's currently feeling it. <laughs> Point taken. <laughs> Wait a minute. Here comes Fly. He's gonna brother. fly! Warren is just letting out all that frustration that was built up over the last few minutes here of this matchup. As now he's on the top rope here. Joey Hyder, I don't even think he knows where he's at. Joey doesn't know where he is. Going for the cover. One, two, and a kick out from Joey. Warren's got to stay on him. Oh, good gosh. Some big shots from fly brother Warren J to both JP and Joey, but Joey able to get a boot up there into the ribs and slows down fly brother Warren J. Double Irish whip, ducked by Warren J. Oh, there's a little bit of a meeting of the minds. <laughs> a couple of coconuts there colliding. Oh man, what a clothesline. All he needed was one opening. And now Joey is back in control here with J.P. Harlow. Poor Zach Mason outside, not even on the apron. Oh, wait a minute. Are they going to do a... Oh, man! Cover! One, two, but Zach was able to break it up. Oh! It was all she wrote, but Zach Zilla got in at the right moment. And that's 
that's what makes Flight F one of the greatest teams here in the reality of wrestling. Zack Mason knew that Warren was in a bad way and almost instinctively rolls into the ring as now all hell is breaking loose here inside the ring. We might have yet another brawl here. Oh, oh. Some confusion oh. there. Oh, man, ouch. Might have gone a little low on that one to Zagzilla. Oh! The fly death on top. Oh! That arm had been injured all night. Can he do it? Can he hold him there long enough? He does it! Fly, death, cover, one, two, and he got there! <laughs> JP got there to break off the count. Both teams had these matches won at two separate occasions, and the other partner able to stop the win for the opposing team. I mean, that is incredible, and it shows to you how much a win for both these teams mean. Not just, it, not only showing how much the win means here, Brad, but it also shows how high level the tag team division is here at the reality of wrestling. Well, now I'm more concerned about Zach Mason. I mean, he held Joey up there for quite some time. What damage has he done to his own shoulder? We'll have to see if that was the last ditch effort he had. And here comes Zach. Zach, oh my God, both men going over the top. Oh. Zach landed on his feet, it looks like. Oh, no! You talk about the arm. I think it's all out of commission now. Oh, no. Wait a minute. In the ring, Joey's got the branding iron. Joey's got the branding iron. Our referee taking it away, of course. Doing the right thing. It's just disgusting. You can severely hurt somebody that way. You very much can. Oh, wait a minute. Well, the ref had his back turned. It looked like Warren got hit with that cowbell. Cover. One, two, three. JP and Joey steal it. Despicable. It was an incredible tag team contest, Kirby, but the cowbell made all the difference. It definitely did. It, it seems to have knocked out Warren. Warren is barely starting to come to. We're seeing some movements in his arm right now, but he was out cold. Try to use the branding iron to no avail. Cowbell comes into play. Brittany Outland and Fly Death takes a defeat. Yet again, Fly Death, another defeat, I hate to say, but this one obviously was by some shifty means by Joey and JP. Shifty means indeed. But nevertheless, as it stands in the record book, JP and Joey victorious this week on the reality of wrestling with that cowbell in the hand of JPR.